We start tonight with new information provided to City News about the number of international travelers arriving to Canada testing positive for COVID-19. The number brings into question the need for people to quarantine inside hotels like the one behind me based on federal regulations put into place back in February. For 15 years, Daniel Kersner has been living in the UK, boarding flights and traveling home to Canada as often as possible. Through the pandemic, it's been more difficult, but he's made the trip a couple of times and quarantined on arrival as per the rules set out by the government. This time, though, he questioned the process when we spoke with him even before taking off. I tested negative, which means that I'm allowed to travel into Canada um, and then go directly to the, uh, the hotel that I've booked after I've done another uh, test uh, at the airport in Canada. Um, what's a little confusing is that you're forced to book a three-night stay in a hotel. The mandatory stay was put into place a couple of weeks ago. New numbers from the Public Health Agency of Canada raise questions about the need to do so. City News has learned that out of nearly 22,000 travelers arriving in Canada between February 22nd and March 4th, just 267 people tested positive for COVID-19. That's only 1.2%. A psychology professor from U of T says policy making in these unusual times isn't always based purely on science. I think literally the leaders have to be sensitive to both the emotional states uh, and the rational real reality of the statistics in order to manage this well. If they get the balance wrong, they're going to have one group really upset with them. Uh, and so they're trying to appease both um, and walking that line to keep people um, willing to listen to what they're suggesting. A study last fall led by McMaster Health Labs with support from the federal government also found that 1% of 20,000 people tested positive on arrival at the airport. A final report was due in January before the decision on the hotel quarantine was made. Despite multiple requests from City News, no additional information has been made available. Daniel, meanwhile, arrived to Toronto prepared to do what he and others are being told, registering and taking a COVID test at Pearson Airport before heading to his hotel. I don't know why I'm here. It just doesn't make sense to me. Knowing the chances of testing positive are next to none, based on the science, something that was supposed to be the driving force behind all pandemic-related decisions. So here I am checking into a hotel, spending $1,350 for three nights with a 99% likelihood that I'm going to test negative. Now, soon after we spoke with Daniel in person, he made the attempt to check into his government approved hotel and a sense told us how disorganized and unsafe it is. The place he's staying at is actually under construction and check in took almost 40 minutes while standing in tight spaces with other guests waiting. For those who have broken the rules, the public health agency is aware of just 15 tickets issued to travelers arriving with no bookings at a quarantine hotel.